Okay, this is going to be the second entry in my video journal, and I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. We're trying to keep this as real as possible, okay? Um, I did want to talk a little bit about Eckhart Tolle's uh, pain body, and just want to maybe talk a little bit about how that pertains to um, just people's stories and conditioning, because a lot of what I do in the coaching and the people that I work with is really work on the thoughts and changing the thoughts because um, as we know the thoughts really drive the feelings that drive the behaviors and if we can change the thoughts we can really get to a place of uh, you know thinking if we can master the thinking and the thoughts that we want to put in there to the subconscious we can really um, create anything we want and this is really the secret to um, creating what we want in our lives and much of what we have in the background of our thinking is really just old tapes playing and it could be um, tapes playing from teachers we had in the past maybe even from our parents of course and also um, just things that were said to us that may not be true and so what Eckhart is referring to much of the time, the awareness, he's talking about the awareness behind the thoughts. And so that awareness, that space that we're trying to create, because most of us um, are really conditioned so much that we are identified with our thoughts. So for example, if we had a parent that you know used to tell us, oh, you're bad, um, you know, we feel bad and we may not even have that thought consciously anymore, but it's there in, in the unconscious and really that's what he's talking about is, the, you know, those stories that we carry with us that we are telling ourselves over and over again without realizing it. Now this is important because many people don't even realize that they have these stories going on and this is very, very um, common actually. This is not something that um, is uncommon. And so what we really work to do through meditation and through creating that space is to create awareness, okay? And this is very, very powerful and it is something that can be done with simple meditation and it can be done throughout the day actually. He talked about using a flower um, to focus on to really bring ourselves to that place of awareness. But one of the other things that we can do, I know many people don't have a flower near them or on their desk, but what you can do is actually wear a piece of jewelry, um, even a rubber band around your wrist. And what you would want to do is just really pay attention to when the times in the day when you feel that rubber band to think about if you're aware, um, what's your thoughts that you are thinking? And, and really, you might even go as far as to take a journal and document the thoughts that you're thinking as you think them. Um, you'd really get a grasp on how much negativity and conditioning is really there. Okay, it, it might surprise you. If you've never done an exercise like this, you really may be surprised. And that's really the goal, is to become aware of the thoughts we're thinking. Um, the more control that we have over our thoughts, the more that we can manifest in our life, okay? And this is a real basic um, meditative practice that's been around for thousands of years. This is not new. This is um, really at the heart of um, Eastern meditation. And so what we really want to do is just get to that place where we can um, quiet ourselves and be calm and really just stay inside of our skin, okay? And so you might want to try that. That's a great place to start. Um, I'm going to try to keep these entries really short so we can keep them exciting and fresh and we'll just keep adding to our knowledge, okay? Um, okay, that's all for now. So I hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you all real soon. Okay, bye-bye.